Welcome to Cook to Nourish. Today I've got for you yet another paratha recipe uh, which has stuffed chicken in it. And um, what I use to stuff the paratha is actually minced chicken. And for that I will use chicken kebabs which have already been cooked. And uh, so this is a great recipe uh, when you have already made chicken kebabs as appetizer or as a snack and then you have some leftovers or you know it's very hard to get leftovers of chicken kebabs in the first place because they are absolutely delicious as they are but um, you know you save some that's what you should do you save some and then you can make um, these stuffed parathas um, uh, with them uh, traditionally in India this is um, the uh, meat parathas are made using wheat flour but I'm going to uh, show you how to make them using cassava flour. Now these are absolutely delicious, so worth the effort. Uh, and again, the effort is not that much once you make first a uh, batch of chicken kebabs, which I've already posted a video for, uh, which are you know equally easy. You just make the chicken kebabs first, retain some kebabs for making the parathas, and um, you know the next day you can make these uh, parathas with stuffed uh, chicken. Uh, Alright, so let's get started. So to make the dough first, I'm mean going to use cassava flour. Um, and this recipe is similar to what I have posted before for cassava, um, cassava tortillas or cassava rotis. Um, now, however, I have been noticing that for the brand that I was using until now, that is Antony's, uh, Antony's Goods, I feel that the consistency of this flour has been changing a little bit. And so I need to add a little bit more water than what I used to before. So before I used to add one a cup of water to one cup of flour, but I need to add a little more than one cup uh, now. Uh, and that's just because of the inconsistency of the brand. So now I've been mostly, you know, using autos brand which is actually uh, giving me better consistency so in any case so that's what i'm doing mixing the flour with the hot water in portions and i've added about um, a little over one cup and uh, then i'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to make the dough really smooth so and that's very important to have the dough smooth and not sticky then that way it's easier to roll it so you know you may need to add a little more than one teaspoon you know about uh, two teaspoon or even about a tablespoon of extra olive oil just so that the dough is smooth and um, next we will uh, prepare the stuffing so i have the uh, kebabs that I had made before uh, you can watch the video for that how that is made that's very pr pretty easy to make as well and now once I have the kebabs I'm going to process them or grind them using the food processor and you as you're seeing I did not add anything else to it it's just the kebabs without any water so that's why this is the consistency you need to get it's like a paste um, like a really you know fine paste and um, and it doesn't take too long actually just about you know 30 seconds on the food processor and you get a nice fine paste like what you see here and it has all already has all the spices and everything that you had added to the kebabs so that's why it's you know you don't need to add anything else for making an AIP version, obviously, you know, make sure that your kebabs also have only AIP compliant spices and then you can just proceed with the same way. So here now I'm going to, you know, making ball, a small ball of the dough and just flattened it and I'm going to roll it, dusting it with some, you know, cassava flour so that it's not sticky. Now I am not using any parchment paper, but you could also, you know, just use the counter and use a pa parchment paper to roll it. And see, I'm using a little more than a tablespoon, actually, that's because I'm, you know, have more experience uh, rolling stuffed parathas. But if you're just beginning to try it, I would say, uh, stick to about a tablespoon so then that way it's easier for you to 
roll it you know because otherwise you will have like stuffing coming and falling out all over uh, and see how I'm crimping all the edges that I you know brought to the center and keeping that same face upwards you know where you have the edges seal that same edge uh, or surface on the top I just roll now see my this is this is the extremely important step that see how I'm rolling it without applying any pressure I'm just very lightly just rolling it and you know I'm not even applying any you know like a lot of pressure or anything I'm just slowly letting it roll the rolling pin and that itself is helping me to kind of uh, make the parata that stretches the dough and makes the parata now some of it as you can see the stuffing kind of appears here and there as patches which is okay it's all right and then even if there is something like kind of see now here it's getting stuck which is fine all you need to do is use a spatula to get it out into the pan you know this way okay so no worries and now we'll get cooking so we'll start by so I applied some oil um, to grease the pan and it's hot as you can see now I've added the paratha I let it cook on a medium heat for about uh, two minutes or so until the you know the bottom side gets cooked uh, but mean, meanwhile you can start uh, putting a little bit oil on the top portion as well now I use um, oil uh, to kind of fry the paratha on both the sides if you like you can kind of avoid that step too but I just feel it uh, makes it more you know crispy on the outside so now I flipped it and then applying oil to the other side as well and uh, yeah applying oil just makes it more tastier the paratha you could uh, if you can tolerate ghee that's another option you could use you could use ghee as well when you're um, you know frying or cooking the parathas and it tastes fabulous now as you can see also try to use the spatula to kind of press down on the paratha because the paratha is going to be thick you know as compared to if it were plain so you have to make sure that it gets cooked evenly now it's done serve the parathas with some extra stuffing 